All right, so in this video, we are going to go over how to document referrals to a specialist um, in Dentrix. So besides the normal paper referral form that gets filled out and scanned in, we wanna make sure that we do this in Dentrix in an efficient way that allows us to follow up easy on these cases. So let's pretend for this patient, we wanna refer him to have his wisdom teeth taken out. So what we're gonna to wanna to do especially because as you see here, there's a treatment plan for a couple of fillings that he needs to have done in the office here. So the first step is to create a new treatment plan folder altogether. So if you go up here and you hover um, on this manila folder with like that yellow star in front of it, it'll say new case. So if you click new case, it's going to make a new treatment plan. And because this is going to be referred treatment, we are going to change the name of it to referred treatment just by typing in, um, you know, whatever you want to call it. And then you click off it to have the new name stick. So you'll notice right now that when I click here, this treatment plan, this font is bold this is not bold. So what you'll notice is that the default treatment plan, any treatment that you treatment plan is going to go in that folder. So I just added another filling on here. You see it went in this folder. So what we want is for the treatment to go in this referred treatment folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click with my mouse to open up this window and you'll see you have a couple of options and you're going to want to come down to set case as patient's default treatment plan. Click this with the left you know, mouse, and then you'll see now that this font is bolded. That means that this is the default treatment plan, which really just means that any treatment that you plan is going to go in this folder. So we're going to select the teeth for referral. Um, we're going to treatment plan those. And you're going to see when you expand this, that now the codes that we just planned are in this treatment plan how you want it. So what we want to do before we um, refer this treatment plan or change the case status is we just want to make sure that we put our treatment plan of treatment to be done here, make that default again. So I'm going to go down here again, I'm going to right click on this and I'm just going to set case as patient's default treatment plan. This is going to make um, this plan where everything goes and you'll kind of see why in a second. So what we want to do for this referred treatment is really change the case status. So if you left click once just to highlight this, what you'll want to do is come up here to this manila folder with the green arrow pointing up in the corner. And if you hover over it, it'll say update case status. So if you left click once on it, you'll open it and you'll see that you have a couple of different options. What you're going to wanna do is come down where it says referred. Um, and then there's like a little icon of, I assume it's supposed to be like a doctor with a green arrow pointing to him. If you just then left click that once, it'll say update current case status. You can put the date, you can add comments like referred to OMSA. But the real important thing is you're going to want to click on this kind of carrot here, this arrow, and it's going to bring up all our referral sources. So scroll down to whoever we're referring to, um, click once to highlight it and then click OK and you'll see that the name is right here and then if you click OK a couple of things are going to happen. So what you're going to notice is when you come over here and look at these codes see how it has the R status next to these codes? This R status means that this code has been referred. So for example if we run a report of all outstanding treatment that needs to be completed here in the office. Number one, these referral codes are not going to end up on this list. Number two, this is important because what this automatically does is it, if you open up the family file, 
and you look to here where it says referred to, it automatically puts the office that they've been referred to, which is important because we can run a report and see just how many patients a year we're referring to certain sources. What's also important is that this folder, now this referred treatment, you'll notice that now the folder has the same picture of that doctor with the green arrow on it. It's referred treatment. You can't add any treatment to this folder. So if you try to drag one of these resin codes up here, it'll say this case has been marked as referred and adding additional procedures is restricted. So this is important because we don't want to mix up our procedures in office here and our procedures that we're referring out. So what you'll notice too is if you look at their chart, um, all the codes will be in red here. So let's pretend that we referred them for treatment. They never went to it and now they're back six months later for their profi. It's really easy for us to look you know, you can see the red lines on the chart. You can see right here it's been referred. You can see the red codes here. It's very easy for us to see that they were referred so we can follow up on that. You know, it is on us that we refer them. You know, let's pretend instead of wisdom teeth, we referred them for a biopsy. They didn't go and we don't notice or remember. We don't follow up on it and it turns out you know, it is oral cancer, they can come after us for something like that. Um, you know, so it's just important to kind of follow up on these things because not all, you know, patients are going to go where we're going to refer them for the treatment. Um, it's also important too, because let's say they do go and they have their wisdom teeth taken out, then it's real easy. We get that wisdom tooth, you know, letter saying, hey, you know, test test was here on this date. He had his wisdom teeth taken out. The codes are already there, so the front desk, all they do is double click on this. They change the date to whatever date the procedure was done. Change this from treatment plan to existing other and hit OK. And then that code gets turned to green, existing other. You see the tooth disappears from the chart. So it just makes everything efficient, not only for documenting, which is important because the chart is a legal record, but it's also important for following up on these patients, you know, making sure they're following through with recommended treatment. And when they do follow through with recommended treatment, um, it makes it easy to enter it as existing treatment.